Hello, my name is William Pitts, and I'll be discussing today why the use of solar energy would be comparatively preferable to the use of fossil fuels from an ethical perspective. So first, what are they? Well, there's three types of fossil fuels. There's crude oil, coal, and natural gas. And all three of these are created from the decomposition of dead animals and plants from millions of years ago. Then, there's solar energy, and this is energy created from the sun, whether that be from direct sunlight hitting solar panels or heat generated. Now for a little bit of background. In the creation of fossil fuels, the factory conditions are very poor, which can cause sickness in workers. Fossil fuels also harms future generations by polluting the earth, leaving a dying earth for our generations in the future. It's also detrimental to the, to the environment because of all the pollution it can release and oil spills that can happen. And it negatively impacts thermal health in humans. As I said before, it causes sickness in factory workers, one of the main ones being cancer. Solar energy, on the other hand, reduces carbon footprint. It does this by helping reduce global warming causes and it prevents the release of pollution and greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. Solar energy is also a renewable source of energy because it's created from the sun, which will be around for millions and millions of years, which is more than we can say for fossil fuels. Global impacts. Globally, fossil fuels cause habitat loss. Fossil fuels also cause poor quality of life. This is because they can, fossil fuels can infect the water supply of civilizations and can cause sickness in the people that live there. Fossil fuels also destroy homes. This is because of eminent domain. This is a right that the government has and where they can take away your home and give you compensation pay to build factories and fossil fuel extraction plants where you once lived. Solar energy, on the other hand, is compatible within the space of cities. Uh, this is possible because you can put solar panels on the roofs of houses and buildings throughout the city. Solar energy also helps reduce CO2 emissions because it doesn't create any at all. National impacts. Nationally, fossil fuels cause a loss of land. It is estimated that 30,000 square kilometers have been lost due to oil and gas well pad storage, tanks, and associated roads developed in North America since the year 2000. Fossil fuel also causes air pollution deaths. Air pollution by release of fossil fuels results in 3% of U.S. deaths per year and are a result of other pollution-related health issues. Solar energy, on the other hand, lowers the rates of greenhouse gas emissions. Solar energy uh, also is, a less dependent, is also less dependent on imported fuels because we have to import a lot of fossil fuels from neighboring countries. Local impacts. Locally, fossil fuels leak into our ocean. Fossil fuel waste and access leak into and pollute our oceans, especially since many fossil fuels plants in Florida border the ocean. Fossil fuels also affect climate change. Fossil fuels contribute to the rising sea levels, which are part of climate change. Uh, solar energy, on the other hand, is the most abundant source of local energy. Uh, there's a reason we call Florida the sunshine state. We get a lot of sunshine and it's really easy to generate solar energy here. Solar energy is also self-reliant. Tampa and residential solar users can not only sell back access energy into the power grid, but they no longer need to depend on unreliable companies for energy. Here you can see a graph depicting the use of fossil fuels throughout history and what it can mean for the future. In the green before, 18, before 1800 AD, our energy usage didn't detrimentally impact the world and we were going okay for a while. Then the fossil fuel era happened and we started to decline our ecosystems around the world and our general air how generally clean our air is. At the question mark, you can see that's where we are, and the question is what kind of shape things will be in for the future, and we hope that it can be a sustainable energy era. Here's another visual where you can see the history of the, of the impacts to nature that fossil fuels have caused. 
you can see that if we continue on the path we are set on, animal populations will continue to decline and we will destroy entire ecosystems, as you can see in the gray area. But if we're able to find our humanity and act now, our environment can be preserved and protected from these harmful, from these harmful actions society has taken, as you can see in the green and the yellow. But how? How can we do this? Well, we can see solutions happening all over the world every day. For example, the government of India plans to install 175 gigawatts of renewable energy projects by 2022 and 275 gigawatts by 2027. This means that renewable energy generation will contribute about 20.3% and 24.2% of total electricity requirement in 2021 to 22 and 2026 to 27, according to the Climate Policy Initiative but I have some solutions of my own. For example, making solar plants in third world countries can help improve the quality of life there. Solar fields in remote locations can provide energy for small communities in struggle, and solar run agricultural systems. If we combine agricultural farms and solar farms, we can have self-sustaining cities all over the world. And here are my sources. <laughs>